Hello everybody, it's me Vampire Lenore and today I'm just gonna do another favorites video. It's been a long time since my last one. I think it was like August or something so I'm like screw it. I've gotten presents and done some shopping from you know since August. That was a long time ago. So I'm like hey I'm gonna go ahead and make a favorites video. It seems like a good time for that. So here we go. So first of all, <laughs> this item I actually made, so I'm kind of happy with it. I mean, it's not like the most amazing thing in the world, but I've got a spooky apron with cute Halloween fabric. And I can't really, I don't, I doubt I'm going to be able to fit the whole thing in the screen, but it's got like witches and bats and cats and pumpkins and spiders and stuff. And yeah. It's awesome having a nice spooky apron. I've always wanted one, so. And then the next thing I also made, and this might seem kind of silly as a favorite, but my nose is always running, like, constantly, no matter what time of year it is. <laughs> and my allergies in the last two years has gotten, you know, they've gotten much worse than they ever were prior, so. It's good to have a handkerchief, and I made this, and it's a nice damask fabric, so yeah, fancy handkerchief. And I'm probably going to like sew my initials in them in the, the fabric. I don't know, not quite necessary, so I might never do it, but it'd be cool. <laughs> All right, and then I got this at H&M during Halloween. It's a little change purse. I desperately needed one, so it, it was just perfect. It was sitting there waiting for me to buy it, so and it was cheap. That's always good. Next, I I got like a lot of presents, um, so yeah, <laughs> it's it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Anyways, this first thing is this um, green tea body shop body butter. It smells very faint, but it's it's like a nice fresh clean tea smell mm. and I love body shop body butters I have so many I'm not gonna need lotion for a long time plus I I have some um, Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffle or something like that body butter as well I probably should have included that in this list because it smells amazing but I forgot so I'm mentioning it now <laughs> And then I've got this vanilla chai body scrub, and this smells really, really nice. It smells like a vanilla chai tea bag as opposed to like a latte. It smells so beautiful, <sighs> and it goes really well with a lot of my perfumes. And then next I have an imp that um, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab actually included in one of my orders. It's called Shanghai, and it's like a lovely green tea fragrance with, I don't know, I don't remember all the notes, but I, I just know one thing, it smells wonderful. <laughs> ah, it smells so good. <laughs> it's beautiful. And I've been wearing that like crazy. Sometimes you'll get an order from them and you'll love one of the imps that they threw in for free more than anything you actually ordered, which is nice. Because some of my favorite perfumes from them I discovered because they they put it in my order. All right, next, I've got this Spiced Apple Body Shop Body Butter, <laughs> and it smells so good. And as you can see, I'm almost out of it because I've been using it like crazy for like the last month or so. And it smells just wonderful with uh, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab Apple Cider Perfume. So I often couple those two things, or it smells really good with the autumn, the spiced autumn cider as well, and I'm sure plenty of other ones. And then kind of just in that same vein, I've got the body scrub too. And as you can see, I've used a lot of it. I only use body scrubs once a week because they are so harsh. There we go, harsh. Um, I wouldn't recommend using them very often, maybe twice a week at the most because it's just not good for your skin to do it every day. And then I've got the Vanilla Chai Body Wash. 
And those are the vanilla chai and the spiced apple are both like limited edition holiday scents. And then I've got spiced apple body washed. <laughs> and I've got some of the vanilla chai body butter. And ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it smells so good. And then I know I did I did a, a Bath and Body Works Halloween haul, but this wasn't actually in it. I found this one later on. I'll kind of move it towards you so you can see. I found this one later on. It's called Creep It Real, and it smells like lime zest and pumpkin, and I love it. It's my favorite hand sanitizer. I keep it in my purse. So yeah, and I've been going through that like crazy. And next, I have this um, this LA Splash Lip Couture in Persephone. Persephone, right? Yes. I absolutely love this. It's like a dark metallic brown, and it just it goes well with my skin tone. And it, I just absolutely love metallic lipsticks. I love dark brown lipsticks. So in many different ways. This is pleasing to me. I absolutely love it. I've worn it quite a few times since I purchased it and I really don't wear makeup very often so that's saying something. And then next I have the Ben Knight Super White Professional Powder. I've been needing some loose powder for a while and it's nice and fine. Like it's very very fine so that is always good because <laughs> I don't want I've had powder before where you can see the powder sitting on your skin, so nobody needs that. And I've got a lot of stuff from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab in here, so I'll get started on that. First of all, I have the... and I'll get into these. Um, some of these are the Yule scents. I will be doing a review at some point. I just need to try everything and you know, gather my thoughts first. But anyways, my first one is gingerbread, vanilla sugar, and pink pepper. And I definitely smell all those scents. I would say that the most, um, the scent that's at the forefront, I would say, is gingerbread. And the vanilla sugar comes after that, and then the pepper is in the background. But it's really, really nice. I really like it a lot. Um, to me, it smells like ginger root, which it, I love. I love the smell of ginger root. And then that vanilla sugar kind of pushes it to the point where it reminds you of gingerbread cookies, which uh, I love it. It's like a, it smells like an extra spicy gingerbread cookie with vanilla and pepper. So it's pretty amazing. And my friend told me that one was going to be like the one that potentially wasn't good because all the um the gingerbread perfumes that she's used have not smelled like gingerbread but i lucked out that was one of my favorites from the yule uh haul that i made and then next i've got i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right chirophobia or cherophobia and this one oh yeah this is the lemon peel one. Oh my gosh uh it smells so good. It smells like lemon zest and there's other notes as well but like I said I'll get into the specifics more when I do the Yule review video. But yeah I absolutely love this. I love the smell of lemon zest and lime zest and just whenever I'm zesting a lemon or lime the entire room smells amazing and I like to smell like that too. <laughs> Next I have Baby's First Krampus Lauf. And this was in my Halloween um, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab haul. It's the one that smells like wood smoke and, or like a campfire and dark chocolate. So yeah, I still love it. I'm still wearing it. And I've got the pumpkin latte one in here as well. Like I said in my Halloween Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab review, it's pretty awesome. It's like a really nice coffee scent. And I've got Cryophobia from the Yule collection. And this one smells like eucalyptus mint and a couple of other things. And it's just like a really nice, I remember I bought my mom this stress relief stuff when I was a kid and that's what it reminds me of. 
Yeah, it just smells really good. I really like it. And it definitely smells like winter. Like snow and, and eucalyptus trees and like, you know, mint is definitely something that comes to mind when you think Christmas, at least for me. And then I've got Yipe in here from the Halloween Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab collection. This one is the one that smells like chocolate covered cordial cherries. And the Spiced Autumn Cider. And, oh yeah, this is, this is one of the Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab perfumes that I hated when I first got this. Like it was way too bitter. I had regrets about buying it and then recently I was just kind of going through and testing my perfumes because I'm putting some together to sell and I tried this one again and it smells wonderful. I absolutely like am obsessed with it now. It's called Crimson from the Crimson Peak collection and I don't remember all of the notes but I know that sandalwood is in there and patchouli and um, I think I don't know. I I don't want to like go and try to say it. the notes and then be wrong, but it smells like incense and it's just amazing. That bitterness is gone. Oh yeah, I believe bitter clove is in it, but over time the bitterness is just completely gone. Ah, it smells amazing. I love incense or incense scented perfumes such as like Shirazad in this one. So I'm in love with it. Ah, oh, it's so good. All right, is that it for the perfumes? I think so. Next on here, and this is really important for someone like me with pretty dry skin, is a hand lotion. <laughs> and this one is by Gold Bond. It is the Healing Hand Cream. I love this one. Uh, one that I love even more is the Eczema Relief one but the store just happened to not have it, so I grabbed this one. This one works pretty much just as well, maybe just a tiny bit less well than eczema relief. All right, looks like we just got a few more things in here. The next thing is by Manic Panic, and this is the Coffin Dust in Hemlock. I would say that this is like a iridescent white blue glitter, like very finely milled glitter. I am actually wearing it today. I don't know if you can see or not. I have it all over my chest and I have it um, right in this area right here and a little bit in this area right here and it's just absolutely lovely. It's very finely milled so it just has like a very flawless appearance and I love things that are iridescent blue white. Oh yeah, I have it under my brow as well. So I'm definitely happy with this for sure. And then, next, this is something that I was really, really excited about, and I'm very happy that I got these during Ellie Splash's sale. I got some of their glitters. I got Purple Rain. I haven't tried this one yet, but I already know I'm going to like it, so. And then I've got the one that I'm wearing today, which is Whiskey Sour. It's like a dark brown glitter with, like, bronze reflex I'd say and then I've got Bloody Mary and <laughs> I I really love them I love sparkles and I've been wanting some for a long time so I finally caved in and then last but not least on this list is something that I've been absolutely obsessed with I posted a picture on Instagram of this particular candle this is from Burke and Hair Co and it is called Dragon's Blood and uh, it's so wonderful. Oh my God. I forget all the notes in this, but eventually I plan on buying more of her candles and then posting like a review video because I'm obsessed. Like these, I, I've, I've smelled three of them because, whoops, <laughs> I'm a Butterfingers right now. I've smelled three of them because I purchased one for myself and I purchased one for a friend of mine for Christmas and she included like a little tea light sample. This one is called Nevermore. And as you can see, I've used the shit out of this. <laughs> and uh, it reminds me of Rogue by Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. It's leather, pepper, 
and musk and tea, I believe. And it's just such a beautiful smell. I'm so glad that she included this in my order because I was really curious about that one and it is even more amazing than I imagined that it was. This one is absolutely stunning. I love it very much. Yeah, doorbell. <laughs> um, and then the one I, I got for my friend, it was um, the smell of a bonfire with clove, cinnamon, and pine or something like that. No, burning leaves, burning leaves. And it smelled as just as described. It was amazing. And I'm actually kind of jealous. <laughs> I need to get one for myself because that one was epic. And I just kept prior to giving it to my friend because I was waiting for her to come to town to visit me. I just kept opening it and smelling it. <sighs> it just smells so good. I love these candles so much. I've been dreaming of having a, a dragon's blood scented candle for the longest time. And I feel like these candles were made for me or something like they're my candle soulmates. I love them and I highly recommend them. Like they make your house smell so amazing when you when you burn them. And if you are really into like incense smelling stuff or like really unique scents for candles, then I would highly recommend them. But anyways, this concludes my favorites video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you don't mind, and have a lovely day.